Josh Hare making my return again on uh, Carlton Town TV and I'm here with Tommy to talk through the game today. Hi Josh. Um, and we've obviously, we've come away with a point but we'll do what like we usually do, try and break it down. So, mm. um, first 20 minutes, uh, you concede, concede the goal quite early. Mm -hmm. um, different kind of beast to the one we, we usually come. They were. They played a lot of football on the ground, yeah. a lot of pacey football. What, what, how challenging was that in the early stages of the game? Well, first of all, you can see they've got a new manager who's done an excellent job. You know, we, we were made aware of this after they beat Balper on Saturday. So we knew we were in for a different challenge. Um, so we knew what to expect, to be honest with you. Um, but they was excellent first 20 minutes. Um, Momentum's the key for us, and we, we're just not getting any at the minute. And uh, we look sluggish, taking nothing away from them. They was, you know, they worked harder than us. They wanted it more than us. The first 20, 25, and um, yeah, they, they passed the ball well, and they deserve to go in the lead. But you know, it is an issue when you, you're not playing for for weeks. It's I can't unless you've played the game or managed the game, you don't understand it. You you really do lose momentum. Yeah. You know. Um. The the thing I noticed in those first twenty that I you know this carried throughout the game, um, and unfortunately no disrespect to Chase Down I don't know the lads' names but their their front three as a unit were solid the pace from the wingers yeah. they, they also yeah, how challenging <clears throat> is that um, for defenders who haven't played a game in a while and you've got three strikers who really look like they're on the ball it's challenging um, the the players you know we, we can't use excuses you know at the end of the day they've got to get closer to them and we said that to them at half time uh, we needed to get the full backs closer to the wide players uh, further up the pitch which we did you know because we had to and you know every time the ball got knocked into the forwards feet we needed to get closer and not let them have the space and to be fair last 20 of the first half we started to do that and then um, you know, we did start to uh, dictate to, to them a little bit more, but this is a good league, you know, at the end of the day, we took four points off Chase Town this year, yeah. or a big club, far bigger club than us. Um, you can't win every game, but, um, you know, we stayed in it and, uh, yeah. And obviously, obviously then at the end of the, the first half, um, thankfully, which, you know, gives you a totally different outlook on the, on the second going in at half time, we got the equaliser now, beautiful cross. Um, was it Tyler Johan who yeah. got the cross in? And Tyler Blake with a lovely finish. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Talk, talk me through that and how that changes your headset going in at half time to do a team talk. Well, there was already going to get a lot of kick because I didn't think we was at it enough, even though we were better last 15, 20 minutes. Excellent goal, I thought, you know, compared with the one we conceded, which was awful. Uh, but it was a lovely goal, you know. Uh, we, trying to encourage young Tyler to do that on the flanks. He's got it in him. And we said to him before a game, look, if you go past people, it don't happen. But just believe in yourself and it's a lovely ball. Tyler Blake does what he does. It's a great finish. It didn't really change much at half time, to be honest, because I wasn't overly happy with it. Uh, and then, you know, we, we got amongst them uh, at half time. And ironically, even first 15 second half, we were a bit sluggish again. You know, so <laughs> you can't always change things for the better. Yeah, and obviously, you know, we come out having put ourselves back in the match and the first thing that happens in the second half is we concede another goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a great goal, a great finish. I'm not sure about uh, what we should have done with the first ball. And I'll have to have a look on the video on that. It's, it's very difficult to make a snap reaction on that, but I thought we should have been better, better with the first ball. But it's a great finish and... Um, after, you know, 15 minutes after half time, we deserved a 2 1 lead, lead, but, you know, it did change very uh, quickly, um, you know, because we really got into the game then. Um, and, I mean, it was a quality finish. Jack yeah. probably couldn't do anything, maybe could have closed down the ball a bit, but, you know, all credit to the goal. But then, again, similar story to first half, all of a sudden, we switched on again. Yeah. And uh, arguably the best 20 minutes of our entire play was the last 20 minutes of the game where obviously, yet again, Tyler Blake shows up. Um, Martin Ball had a fair play in the, in the scrap, in the mm. build-up. Um, you know, and, and we rescue a point. Talk, talk me through that, that second goal and, and also that, that 20 minutes of, in all fairness, probably the most dominance in the game. Yeah, I mean, their keeper was outstanding. I mean, some of the saves he pulled off and the fact that Every time a ball got into his box, he come and claimed it. If it was anywhere near him, he was superb. His kicking was good. 
And um, I thought, you know, we, we were having some chances and I thought, well, it's not going to be our day. But once Tyler finished out, I actually expected us to go on to win it. Um, I think it would have been unfair because I think a point's a fair result because the amount of chances we had at the end, you know, we had plenty of one-on-ones, plenty of balls falling in the box. So, last 20 minutes, do, you know, dominant, um, and we come away with the draw. Mm. Um, what do you think about the goal? And we, that was a quality 20 minutes from us. Yeah, the goal was a bit scrappy in itself. There were some great chances there, great one-on-ones, uh, what we created. Some great balls into the box. Um, yeah, once we went 2-2, I thought we were going to win it 3-2 because of the amount of one-on-ones we had. But as I said earlier, the, their keeper was outstanding. And a fair point at the end of the day. Um, two good teams. It must have been a great game to watch. You know, it's football. You win some, you lose some. And uh, I'd say for the neutral spectator, they got the money's worth tonight because it was end-to-end. Both teams were at it. You know, nobody... Uh, Give any seconds, it, it just felt like a proper game, and uh, yeah, we'll take a point at the end of the day. For the fans who um, who weren't here tonight, how do you think the pitch played? Because obviously, you know, we've had postponement after postponement with the weather, and actually, uh, the pitch looks in quite a good, quite a good nick. Finally, yeah, well, it's dried. You know, at the end of the day, um, Jamie uh, managed to get a cut on it this morning. Um, you know, we're in the lap of the gods with the pitch. At the end of the day, if we'd have come at six o'clock and it chucked it down for an hour we wouldn't have played you know so we, at the minute we're in the lap of the gods the water table's that high we've had the worst february uh, in a, in history apparently with with the wet uh, you know i don't blame the club for what's happened in february you know what, what we should have done uh, i'm not happy about the games that were called off a lot earlier than that um, but that's well documented what, what's happened in february has happened to most clubs and we've just got to go on with it you know at the end of the day uh, that's a good point tonight. We're sixth in the semi final of the Senior Cup. 15 games to go. We're going to be playing two, three times a week. So, what? You know, we've been training all the while anyway. The attitude of the lads is first class. Uh, no excuses. If we don't make the playoffs, it won't be down to that. It'll be down to us. Uh, we're relaxed about it, to be honest with you. We're in a great position, uh, as I said to the lads at the start, you know, way back in June the 27th when we had his first training session, as I said, all right, you've been second from bottle you, last season, you've been woeful. This year we're going to do things proper, we're going to work hard, we're going to train hard, we're going to be together. And come March we're going to be sixths with a great chance of going in the playoffs in the Senior Cup. We take it, so we're cool about it, you know, at the end of the day. I, I was a player, soon play games midweek and train. So, uh, pitch, yeah, okay. Lap of the gods still, but um, we just we just get on with it. Just well, get on with it. Fingers crossed. And you talk about um, still being in the senior cup. Yeah. Um, we drew. Is it is it Newark? Um, yeah. We're in the next round with uh, Forest and County showing each other. Um, assuming and there's no you know the, uh, not taking anything for granted, we make it past Newark. Is how do, how does that competition fit into the season with so many games left? Well, the Newark game, I don't know. It's going to have to be a Thursday probably. Uh, so that will be Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, that's just life, you know. At the end of the day, you want to win things. You're going to have to play a, a lot of games to win them, you know. And um, I've been in worse situations. We just get on with it. No, it's obviously challenging for promotion. Uh, they've got a good budget, good backing. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, we just take it as it comes. I'm not even looking at uh, what's happening with that at the minute. When it comes, it comes. Then we decide what players we can put in. <laughs> you know, we don't even know. You know, at the end of the day, you can lose players very quickly. As can every other team at this time of year. So we're in the lap of the gods with everything, Josh, at the minute. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the ride, take each game as it comes, and uh, not get too down downhearted if we lose and not get too high if we win. I think we need probably seven to eight wins to get in the playoffs. So that's going to be our target. And you talk about not knowing what players you're going to be able to put in. For anyone that yeah. doesn't know, obviously Mellow's out. Yeah. Um, talk me through how that injury happened and, and you know what the what the look is. Well, him. it's his knee. I think it's ACL. Um, he just went down awkwardly against Swiss Beach. We all know what an influence Maddow's been experience-wise on the team. You know, it's a very young squad. He's been immense for us. Um, he's hopeful to try and get back to the end of the season, which is typical Maddow. Uh, obviously, no Ollie Clark tonight for suspension, but he'll be back 
for the weekend. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have injuries. Um, you can't go through a season not, and it's no good whinging and moaning about him because it's all part and part, part sort of, of winning and losing. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking for Maddo. He's here tonight again, and he'll be here every game. He's a top lad, you know, and it's, it's just a shame for him more than us. You know, I'm just so sad for him. Yeah, no, it's a, it's winning, but the, the uh, as a as a last thing, he had a, a new lad on the pitch a pitch yeah. tonight. Um, talk to me about his background and, and and how he plays, where he's where he's played. And yeah, Javin, you know, he's been doing well for Clifton. Um, he's got a good pedigree. He's been at Burton Albion. Um, step six, you could see first half hour. He the tempo was a bit quick for him. Then it, then I thought for the next half hour he did well, you know, and. Uh, that's where we've got to be looking at players. Jonathan's coming tonight as well from Kimberley. He didn't get on. He was coming on until we scored. They <laughs> told him no. Um, but, you know, we've got to just get lads from step six. Uh, get them used to the tempo. Uh, unpolished diamonds, if you like, and polish them up. And um, we know that's that. we're not going to go and replace a Maddo for life for life. You know, because Maddo plays for the love. He don't play for the money. So um, we get these diamonds from below and hopefully we can get him right and I thought Jeff yeah he, he he said it was fast of course it's faster you know uh, we don't have a pre-season to, to get them into it we just chuck them in so uh, you know the hope is that they, they do well and uh, like one or two others well fingers crossed going forward congratulations on the result cheers cheers for cheers thank you cheers thank you